Thanks for joining us again. In this video you will quickly learn the basic parts of a distribution of ice water for a chiller. In the animation we have an air-cooled chiller that is being used to generate air conditioning and for cooling machines. Let's start the study. Stay with us and remember to subscribe to our channel to continue receiving more classes. Internally this chiller is basically how we are showing in the animation. Although of course it has a greater number of accessories to improve its control. We can see that it is very similar to an air conditioner inside. This type of chiller usually has a screw type compressor, or several scroll type compressors. The water enters the evaporator to be cooled. This temperature differential indicates the performance of the chiller. Usually the difference between inlet and outlet water temperatures should be within 5 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's quickly look at its basic components. 1 evaporator or cooler to cool the water there the chiller refrigerant is cold due to low pressure managing to generate ice water the water and coolant from the chiller are in separate pipes they never mix Two compressor to compress the refrigerant inside the chiller and put it to work throughout the circuit three condenser with its fans because this chiller is cooled by air in this way the refrigerant that comes out of the compressor is cooled and in turn condensed that is it becomes liquid again or liquid receiver to store the refrigerant that comes out in the form of liquid from the condenser 5 humidity filter dryer to retain impurities 6 expansion valve to lose the pressure gained by the refrigerant in the compressor and return to lower the temperature of the refrigerant inside the chiller the parts that we can observe in the animation are 1 stop valves 2 manometers 3 water flow switch 4 three-way valves 5 flexible unions 6. Water filters 7. Thermometer 8. Centrifugal pumps 9. Check valve 10. Air leak 11. Valve to open 12. Expansion tank 13. Supply pipeline 14. Return pipeline 15. Chilled water bypass pipeline 16. Application or use for frozen water Now we are going to define each part of the installation and thus quickly know what they are for. 1. Shut off valve. These valves are used to close the flow of chilled water in the installation. They can be operated manually or automatically. Manual valves are widely used. They generally have a threaded handle to stop and allow fluid to flow through the pipeline. 2. Manometers are used to measure the pressure of the chilled water flow inside the pipe. They can also report the water flow through the difference or drop in pressure values, for example in the chiller evaporator. 3. The water switch is used to ensure the presence of liquid flow in the evaporator before turning on the chiller. If the switch is not activated, the power on of the equipment is prevented or it stops. Or, three-way valves are used to pass only the necessary flow of chilled water through the application. 5. Flexible joints are used to absorb vibrations and prevent damage to the pipeline. 6. The filter in Yi allows filtering the frozen water and removing possible impurities. 7. This thermometer allows the operator to directly know the temperature of the frozen water. 8. Centrifugal pumps circulate the water within the circuit. 9. The check valve allows the passage of water in only one direction. 10. The air purge allows to extract the air inside the pipes. 11. Valve for water drainage. 12. The expansion tank allows to absorb the volume changes of the water inside the pipe product of the temperature changes. 13. The supply pipe carries the chilled water to the application, in this case at 7 degrees Celsius or 44 degrees Fahrenheit. 14. The return pipe takes the frozen water back to the chiller, in this case the water returns to 12 degrees Celsius or 54 degrees Fahrenheit. 15. The chilled water bypass allows the water that is not needed in the application to be returned to the chiller. 16. The application is the point where chilled water is required. They can be fan coil heat exchangers or air handling units, including chilled water for machine cooling. 17. As we are seeing in the animation, we have a chiller with an air-cooled condenser. 18. Let us remember that this type of machine is usually used in applications with low and medium thermal loads. 19. Although this type of chiller is less efficient than the one with a water-cooled condenser, it has the advantage of requiring little maintenance and a simpler installation or piping circuit. 20. Always remember to pay attention to the cleanliness of the condensers and the good condition of its powerful fans. 21. By the way, 
If you're interested in learning about water-cooled condenser chillers, a link to a related class is popping up right now. You can go to that class and also subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Hey there. If you're interested in learning more about chiller basics, you should definitely check out the description of this video. There's a free exam available that comes with some extra information, so be sure to give it a look. And the best part? It's completely free.